Hot email. Something extremely weird is going in in the UK's prison system. From Gritchy at redacted.gov.uk to sc all staff at redacted.gov.uk. All right, lads, pay attention because this is the last time you're going to be told. Inmate number 514,233 is not a novelty. She is a permanent resident of this facility. I know you all thought it was funny that we have a harmless looking female inmate in a men's prison, but we're the only building with the facilities required to safely hold her. I do not give a single fuck how stupid you find the new protocols. You will fucking follow them or you will bloody well end up like Gary. These aren't guidelines, these aren't suggestions. Consider the new protocols commandments carved in stone by fucking Moses himself. I'm not even close to joking. If for some unfathomable reason you're still unsure of why we're doing all of this, the governor will let you access her file. By all means go and reread it so you can be reminded of exactly what she did to deserve this. Failure to adhere to any of the new rules is grounds for immediate termination of employment and potentially criminal prosecution. This is not a threat. The next person that makes a cunt of this, I will personally ensure that they are completely fucking unemployable for the rest of their miserable life. The rules are posted in every guard station in solitary and they're going to be posted on her cell door. No more excuses. I'm attaching the updated rules to this email. Memorize them and fucking follow them as if your life depends on it because from this moment forth it fucking does. No more fuck ups. P.S. Gary's funeral is on Monday afternoon. God wants to have a short remembrance service on Tuesday with the chaplain. Attendance is optional. If it were up to me, I'd make you all go and rewatch the tape of what she did to him. Grant Ritchie, Chief Officer. Protocols relating to inmate number 514,233. One inmate number 514,233 is to be held in cell 7 of the new solitary confinement block. If, for any reason, number 514,233 is required to go to another cell she should be placed into a cell denoted by a prime number. No exceptions. Two under no circumstances are any prisoners to be held in the cells to either side, or opposite hashtag 514233s cell. If there is a shortage of room in the solitary confinement block, prisoners deemed as low risk can be moved to C block. If, at any time, a prisoner is discovered in a cell adjacent to number 514,233 they are to be placed in full body restraints and moved to treatment room 4. 3 inmate number 514,233 is to be kept in her cell 24 hours a day unless a request is made by Dr. Roberts and Chaplain Rickside to move her to a treatment room. Such requests must be made in person. Written, telephone requests are to be reported to the governor's office immediately. Furthermore, both the doctor and chaplain must be present at the time of request. If either comes alone to request her movement to a treatment area, ask them to wait for approval and immediately report to the governor. For when being moved to a treatment area inmate number 514,233 is to be accompanied by Dr. Roberts, Chaplain Rixai and no less than four armed guards. Guards escorting number 514,233 must only use ammunition provided by Chaplain Rixai and, ideally, should be active practitioners of one of the Abrahamic religions. 5. Prior to exiting her cell number 514,233 must be fitted with a pair of silver-coated cuffs. These will be provided by the chaplain. If number 514,233 refuses to put on the cuffs activate the in-cell sprinkler system and wait patiently. She'll comply soon enough. Additionally, if the reason for her movement is deemed sufficiently urgent and she remains non-compliant, the song What a Friend We Have in Jesus can be played over the loudspeaker. This will severely agitate her, but she'll put the cuffs on much more quickly. Turn the song off immediately after she has the cuffs on so as not cause any unnecessary behavioral issues. 6. Absolutely no living or freshly killed organic material larger than bacteria is allowed into hashtag 514233s cell while she is in it. Meals must consist of meat, vegetables, fruit that have been dead for one week at minimum and should not have been frozen in that time. Number 514,233 is never to be offered nuts, seeds. Meals are to be pushed under her door using a silver tip pole. 7. If number 514,233 expresses that she wishes to kill herself, she is to be supported to do so. She can be provided with no more than 6 feet of rope to assist in this. No attempts to prevent number 514,233 from harming herself are to be made. She is impervious to significant harm and cannot die. 8. Number 514,233 is under absolutely no circumstances to be provided with books, paper or any form of writing implement. Inmate number 514,233 may attempt to write on her cell walls using her own blood and or fecal matter. If you discover her doing this do not attempt to read the writing. Activate the in-cell sprinkler system and request assistance from the specialist decontamination crew. 9. Cleaning of hashtag 514233s cell can only occur when she is in a treatment area. Sprinkler system must be used for no less than 10 minutes prior to anyone entering the cell. SDC will carry out the cleaning. No one else is to enter the cell under any circumstances. 10. Number 514233 will attempt to persuade you to release her. She will tell you that one of your loved ones is in danger and that she can help. She can be extremely convincing but you must remember that she is lying. You have no loved ones. You were handpicked for this assignment due to the fact you have no living family, are not married and have no children. Nevertheless number 514,233 will attempt to place fictitious memories in your head. If she makes such statements to you withdraw immediately and report to the chaplain's office. Update. Due to the circumstances surrounding hashtag 514233s recent escape attempt additional measures have had to be implemented to ensure the safety of all staff and prisoners at HMP. 
11 verbal communication with number 514,233 is henceforth forbidden under all circumstances. Industrial grade ear protection will be provided for all guards and additional soundproofing was installed in her cell during said evening's treatment session. Ear protection must be worn by all staff during all interactions with number 514,233. 12 by royal decree of H.M. Elizabeth II, all matters relating to number 514,233 are exempt from investigation by the Independent Monitoring Board. Anyone claiming to be from the IMB inquiring about number 514,233 is to be immediately detained. Any resistance should be met with reasonable force. Detainees should be placed in a solitary confinement cell which adheres the protocols previously outlined. 13. In the event that number 514,233 successfully escapes her cell, emergency lockdown procedure 616 is to be enacted. Do not attempt to save colleagues or prisoners from her. Follow ELP 616 to the letter. Any severely wounded individuals who you encounter during ELP 616 should be granted a merciful execution. Their remains should be turned over to SDC for disposal. If, after one hour from the commencement of ELP 616, number 514,233 has not been subdued SDC will be authorized to purge the entire block. Do not let it come to that. Terminate her, collect her remains and return them to her cell. From, Sogredi at redacted.gov.uk. 2. SC-All Staff at redacted.gov.uk. You have all been tasked with an incredibly difficult job. Her Majesty and the Archbishop have faith that we can do this. I have handpicked you all because I believe you are up to the task. With that being said I need you all to understand that you cannot continue to allow her appearance to cloud your judgment. Number 514,233 is not a little girl, no matter how much she resembles one. I too had my reservations, but I believe the tape of what she did to Gary McMichael speaks for itself. We all must recognize her for what she truly is, no matter how horrible that truth is. I will personally check in with the team as often as I can. Do not hesitate to come to me for additional support. The Crown is extending us every courtesy in this endeavor and I intend for us to take full advantage of it. As always you have my eternal gratitude. May God bless and protect each and every one of you. Stay safe. Yours sincerely, Sean K. O'Grady, Governor.